Hey Dolly friends, welcome to my channel and today I have some really exciting news. This box that you see in front of you is my very first ever Blythe, like official Blythe, not AliExpress Blythe. This is from the Good Smile Company, so that gives you a few ideas who it is. Anyway, I'm just going to dive right in and you'll see who I got. Oh, well, it just gave it away. It's Siri Sustainable. Let's see if I can get her in a good angle. There she is in her box. Now this is my first ever, so I'm gonna take a little time to enjoy her packaging. She has lovely little flowers. And I love the artwork. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the artist Eric Carl who did the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar and a bunch of other books like that. It reminds me a little bit of that, but it puts the knitted texture in the leaves. And uh, anyway, the way he does his artwork is kind of similar in taking textures and creating other pictures with them. But anyway, let's dive on in and see her. All right, I think I have everything mostly cut, so I can just start to take it out. I'm gonna take out each piece of clothing first. Hopefully I don't make too much noise. All right, so this is her little sweater that goes over kind of a sweater vest that will be going over her dress. I love the Argyle so much. And I love sweaters so much and little tiny buttons so much and little buckles anyway love it I do find it funny that her name is Surrey sustainable and she has so much plastic in her packaging <laughs> anyone else find the irony in that all right so she has a little faux leather bag with fur very cute and it has a little snap oh my gosh Open the snap. Okay, and that opens up. A little la uh, satin lining on the flap, and then inside is just no lining. But it, you know, most a lot of leather bags don't have lining like that. Super cute, and it has another little buckle. Okay, so there is her purse. Super cute. And then next, get her focus here. We have get her boots out. The one thing I'm a little disappointed about, and I know that all the Blythes are like this, but their shoes are plastic. And I would have loved like a faux leather boot, you know, the kind like the Uggs have the little fur around them. I think that would have just been adorable and I know I can get those um, off like Aliexpress hmm. I'm not really sure which way they're supposed to go but I love that there's a little tread little boot treads in there so cute has the little stitching it even has the little back part where you would see the name of the the brand it'd be kind of neat if there was little tiny text that said Blythe on it <coughs> All right, we'll get her hat out. I know I'm saving her for last. Now the hat is also a component that just completely sold me. Uh, I love the little puffy pom-pom on top. So cute. I love that it's a sweater material and that it has little pom-poms here. It's just, it's just so cute. Anyway. And then it's satin lined, which I think is wonderful. Now there isn't a lining in the sweater, but that's totally okay. Actually having that satin lining in a hat is really, really good because it keeps the hat, the hair from frizzing. Uh, something you have to do with curly hair. You actually have to sleep with a satin hat or head covering. So when you get up, it's not a giant frizzy mess. So yeah, that's really nice that they did that for the doll hair. 
Okay, keep going. These are her little leggings. Actually, they're like legging tights and they're a fun orange, two, two different oranges and kind of a greenish color, which, you know, kind of works. It goes, it brings out that earthy tone. Make sure you guys can see all that, there you go. Okay, and then last is her stand. Oh. All right, so we have the forest green. I'm not even sure if that's gonna focus, it's so small. I love that color. I love that it's not overly pink. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love pink and stuff, but I love that she's just more of an earthy color. All right, time for the main event. I love her hair color. It's this beautiful auburn reddish brown auburn color turn this down a little bit so it's not too washed out and i think it's just super pretty no, it's too light i don't know if you can even see the color in this and then her eyes now this is the part i'm excited i want i'm really excited to try the eye mech because it sounds like it's supposed to be much easier. I will say before moving on from her hair, it feels a little, I don't know, oily. Like not really clean. Those of you that have official blides, do you wash it after getting it out? I don't know about you. I just think it's kind of ridiculous. You get a doll and you instantly have to wash their hair. So let me know what you guys do. But all right, let's try that eye mech. See what eyes she has. Get her nice and in focus. So she's got a pretty light brown right now. Ooh, look at that vibrant blue. Wow, that is so blue. Beautiful light green. I love this color so much. And then an orange. I also love that she didn't have pink eyes. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's a lot of pink eyes and I'm just, it's not my favorite. I liked her warmer color tones. I don't know, which one do I wanna keep? I'm gonna do the light green for right now. Okay, let's look at the rest of her outfit. So, now first of all, you'll notice she has plastic on her hands and her legs, and I think from what I've seen, yeah, it, the plastic goes all the way up to protect her from staining, so. I don't know, I guess it's a stainable, it's a stainable color on the Surrey Sustainable. <laughs> okay. So let's take off her lovely dress so we can see. Oh my goodness, just seeing her laying there. She's so pretty. Her dress is, it's kind of, I don't know how to describe the material here, but it's very flowy. I mean, maybe satiny, but it's not a satin, I don't think. I, I don't know, but it's so cute. So she has a little decorative ribbon on this side, on the front. Sorry, it was blurry the whole time. And then she has a beautiful other decorative ribbon thing on the same side in the back. So I thought that was interesting. And then her skirt is uneven hem. So one side it starts underneath and then that whole side's underneath and then the other side is stitched on the outside. So it's kind of uneven. So those of you who like symmetry, this may not be the doll for you because she is not symmetrical. <laughs> And her little pants, oh my word, they're corduroy. Oh, they're so cute. Ooh, that's a little bright. Okay, so they are a corduroy blue. And they have that little button here. It's a faux button though. It's not a functioning button. It's rolled up with more buttons for the cuffs. So cute on both sides. And then it's a Velcro in the back. I, I didn't realize these were corduroy. So that's just really, really fun. I love it. All right, so there is that outfit. And then she does come with underwear, which is great because like, I get lots of dolls with no underwear. They're not like fancy. They're quite the opposite of fancy actually, very plain. But hey, it's underwear, we'll take it. 
All right, let's get this plastic off of her. You, the back of the head says, we can see it. It says Blythe 2022 Hasbro. Okay, is that news to me? Has Hasbro taken over Blythe? You can see the Good Smile Company, CWC. I don't know what that stands for. Hmm. But Hasbro, I guess I didn't realize Hasbro had some involvement with Blythe. You uh, Blythe experts out there, please tell me what you know. Okay, Surrey Sustainable has finally been freed from her plastic prison. Like, seriously, let's talk about sustainability here. I mean, shoosh. All right, let's get her dressed. Hang in there for the musical montage. footage I'm going to show you of that whole process but let me just say these tights are not my favorite <laughs> they are so hard to put on rubber legs it reminded me of my childhood with Barbie legs they're so rubbery which I know that's that's how they are and they have that bend kind of that I don't know what that's called but that click bend for posability but anyway isn't she beautiful I love her so much I'm going to take some fun photos of her. I'm going to brush her hair a bit and we'll try some different photos with different eyes and so many cool things. Let me know what your favorite thing about her is. Uh, if you have any questions about her or anything like that, please let me know in the comments. I'm super excited to finally have my first Blythe. And I know I've seen some photos of the next one coming out in January and she's really cute too. But, I don't know, she just, it took me a while to warm up to Bly. I love her. She's adorable. She's so fun. I'm super excited. And I can't wait to take some woodsy photos, too, when it's not raining out. All right, well, stay tuned for photos. See you in a second. Well, I took a couple of comparison photos of these two girls side by side with their eyes and little bit of their hair just to kind of see and even doing the pull strings and definitely yes uh, Siri sustainable has much easier eye mech to do and um, you guys will have seen in the photos that the eye colors are different especially the oranges and the blues anyway I do think they look lovely together and um, but uh, it's definitely a bit of a difference. I will say that Suri's legs, because they don't have the jointing of the A-zone body, like, um, whoa, like this girl, she can stand, Suri can stand better. I I've noticed, at least with these AliExpress blithes, that their knees just sort of give out and they fall over really, really easily uh, with any kind of weight put on them, so... I thought that was interesting. Okay, I wanted to say one more quick thing uh, regarding their hair. If I had to choose who had the better hair, I would say it's definitely the Factory Blythe. Autumn here has amazing hair, easy to work with, and it feels nice. Where Ceres is kind of oily feeling, it's tangled right out of the box. And I know a lot of people have complained about how Blythe's hair is like that, and we're hoping that Good Smell Company would maybe produce better hair, but I have to say it is not not better than the $20 doll. It's just so amazing to me. Like I can spend $200 on this doll and my $20 doll has better hair. So I don't know what's going on in the uh, Blythe factory, but they might need to kind of rethink their materials maybe. I don't know. I guess people love them enough. They don't really care, but that's my two cents anyway.
All right, guys. Well, you got to see the photos, and I sure hope you liked this video. Please like and comment, subscribe, and do all those great things so other people can see it too. And again, ask me any questions you have about Surrey Sustainable, or if you have any comments on how you take care of your Blythe dolls and brush their hair and any of those kinds of tips for them as this is my first so I'd love to get some input from you guys. All right. Bye.